Uh, it's gonna be here. I live in LA. It's just like Utah. Um, it's just, it's the same. We have snow too. It's a different snow. Um, don't worry about that. Uh, it's terrible, but um, it's good. I, I've been doing comedy there for about 17 years. I get recognized more from driving Uber and substitute teaching than I do from performing, so that's nice. Hey, I know you, man. Oh, yeah, from one of the shows I've been on? No, 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 you drove me 4th of July to the beach. It was wonderful. Uh, there was traffic, but you had good music on. Five stars, man, so uh, thanks. All right. Makes me feel good. Ah, oh, God. LA's funny. California, you know, you live in California. People, you travel, people say, oh, aren't you afraid of the sharks? What do you do about the sharks? I stay out of the water. You know, that usually does it. Um, the way it works, they don't come get you. You know, they don't... They don't lure you in either. They're like, come on in, the water feels great. You know? No, I, I just ate. You know, I have to wait a half hour. My mom's gonna get upset. So. Sharks don't wait after eating. They don't, they don't sit and wait for 30 minutes. They just go right on and swim. That's why they have terrible relationships with their moms. Um, what's he talking about? So. Uh, so it's good. Good you're out. It's, you know, it's a nice evening. There's some couples here. That's nice. Nothing more romantic than watching a stranger speak for an hour and not having to talk to each other. That's very, uh, that's very beautiful. Um, I, uh, I'm not married. Uh, I'm, I'm 44. I've never been married, never been engaged, don't have any kids, but I'm just as exhausted as fathers who've done that. Like, I'm all caught up with you. So I, I'm here. I'm out of money. I'm out of energy. I don't know if I'm going to have any more kids. So I feel like one of you. I'm at the age, I'm at least supposed to be divorced by now, right? I'm at least supposed to have, right? Have one under my belt, you know, just, just to show. People get weirded out. People get weirded out, you tell them. So I have to lie to make them feel better. I'm like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm divorced with like four kids or something. And they're like, oh, that's much better, you know? Oh, we thought something was wrong with you. Now you can join our support group. Come on in, it's like, oh, okay, what's going on, so. Uh, being single and childless isn't a choice. I was born like this. It's just the natural, <laughs> you know? Who am I to argue with, you know? Right? <laughs> just so natural, man, so natural. Uh, my mom wants me to get married. A lot of parents want their kids to get married and have kids. Grandkids are cute, but they want to see us suffer like we made them suffer, right? That's really, that's really what... Your father and I did not work hard and sacrifice, young man, so if you could just date different women and enjoy your life. Oh, no, 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 no. You're gonna get married, have kids. Mom, what if I don't love her? Love has nothing to do with it. Your father and I stopped loving each other years ago. We're much happier now, so... so ooh, that sounds good. So it's good. I, I, you know, I start dating someone. My mom wants to get married and have kids right away. She's like, come on, that girl doesn't put out. Come on, you gotta seal the deal with one of her friends. I'm like, mother, what is going on here? You know, this is ridiculous. So do you guys have moms? <laughs> oh, you one or two orphans in the middle? All right, nice. <sighs> so I tell girls that on first date, I was like, we gotta get married right away and have kids. Like, why? I'm like, my mom said, you know, here's a note. <laughs> so. <laughs> We gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's nice. I, uh, so I travel, I pocket call my mom the other day. You know, your phone dials from inside your pocket. You don't know it. Uh, she's like, hey, did you mean to call me? And I said, no, I pocket called you. And she said, oh, well, your pocket's a better son than you are. And I was like, oh, <laughs> my God, that's brutal. So, ah, so it's good. You know, you're working on that relationship for life. At this point, I think she'd be happy if I were just gay. You know, she's like, give me something to work with over here. <laughs> I need something to tell my friends, right? So I bring home other straight guys. I'm like, this is my lover, you know? And she gets excited, wants us to get married, works to legalize gay marriage. The day of the wedding comes, right? We have to come out of the closet to say we're straight. She freaks out. Our friends are like, I knew you straights. Look at those clothes. You know, I was like, oh, this is all right. Doing my best, you know? My dad's like, oh, I dropped 30 grand on a wedding I'm never gonna see. I'm like, dad, I thought the bride's family paid for that. He's like, we thought you were the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out here. Oh, God.